Hey, hey, this is, uh, sorry I didn't come with a filter podcast, and the Vasilis, Vasilios didn't come with a filter YouTube channel. Sorry about yesterday, I had the flashback, or throwback Thursday, I was being demoralized and, uh, you know, just fuck, just fucking messed up, I was being interrupted every chance I got, and, uh, yeah, it really does suck when it happens like that, but it is what it is. I can't help that crap, I just can't, it's, uh, it is what it, as I say, it is, uh, it's crap, (laughs) that's, I, 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 yesterday was such a rough day for me, I couldn't even begin to wear, to, to tell you guys what I was going through, my, my freaking mind, or I should say my freaking mind is all messed up. And uh, it's my mental health. It's beat me up again. So if you're wondering, yeah, I'm not the best right now. I'm still suffering through the horse crap of mental health issues and the abuse issues and all that other good crap that comes along with it. So I can't really uh, yay or nay myself on that. But it is a flashback, flash forward fantasy football picks today but i will cap off it is official odell beckham jr is released from the cleveland browns so he is having to have to clear waivers so his notice to be picked up will be like sometime around four o'clock monday if he if anybody's put in a claim for him and all that other good junk uh, Aaron Rodgers is out. He probably will be out minimum this game, maybe possibly game two also. So that looks like it's going to be a hard one. The Thursday nighter, what that was? Did, that was a crazy game last night. I thought you know Mike White was gonna he could have pulled something off, but it was the score ended up being forty five thirty for the Colts. So it looks like the Colts are starting to round themselves out as it looks. Um, so my football picks for this weekend, uh, I think I did pick, well, I have to go into my fantasy football here. So excuse for a moment because I got to go over to my football. Yeah, I tried the NHL fantasy stuff. Yeah, I really I really crapped out on that. I don't think I should even try hockey again cuz it's so hard. It's just so hard. But I'm going to go and uh see what I've picked here so my gridiron pick 'em games. Uh the games I've actually picked <sighs> This is going to be a tricky one because I think I picked Carolina over New England. Uh, I want to keep it that way, though. I can see, you know, I can see Sam Darnold do something here, but both of them. So they're they're four and four, right? You know, it's a real tricky spot I'm in. Buffalo, I'm going to pick the Panthers over the Patriots, but not by a lot, just because of just how both teams are playing. It's just kind of really eh, it's it's a tense situation as i say so my other pick would be you know the buffalo bills i'm gonna guarantee can guarantee bills are gonna beat the jaguars come on they they're not gonna lose the jaguars it's not gonna be possible i just can see that right now it's not gonna be a possible game it's gonna be an impossible one for them so you know the the way I see things going on right now. Hold on. So I just had to do something there. Uh, the Jaguars are pretty much their season's over, as I could see it. 
Uh, when you go over to the Falcons versus the Saints, it is a difficult one to call because both are pre- playing pretty damn good. But, you know, the trade deadline has come and gone. So, you know, Matt Ryan's still in the Falcons. So I'm going to take a pause on picking my teams for this weekend, and I'm going to just go over a few of my fantasy picks. So my quarterback I'm going to select is going to be Josh Allen, of course. Uh I see something about McCafferty. He might be possibly playing. I don't have a good feeling on it, though. Austin Eckler's doing all right. But I'm doing one of my running backs, and I'm going to go with... uh, I'm going to choose Mixon. And my other running back, Austin Eckler. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to go somewhere else here. Just because it is where it is. Uh, This is such a hard thing for me. Because honestly, trying to pick the right player. I'm going to go Zach uh, Moes. Moss. Zach Moss, sorry. So my wide receivers, Devontae Adams, is he going to play? It looks like he might be playing. But I'm going to go with Jamal Chase. Because that guy has stacked me up so good. Uh, You know, I heard today also there's no Kyler Murray or... DeAndre Hopkins today at practice so that could be also a leading problem on that end so I'm not even going to touch that one Emmanuel Sanders I am going to take for the Buffalo whoa I have way too many Buffaloes Uh, might have to take somebody different Kamar sorry so you know, it is how I, I got to pick and I got to really be strategic on it. There's no Beasley for the Bills, so I can't take Beasley. There's no Landry for the the Browns, so, you know, that's going to put me down. But, you know, uh, yeah, I if anybody's picking rigs, rugs, the, the guy's out. <laughs> He's been released from... Vegas because of what happened uh, with his drunk driving thing. I do not support that whatever. Okay, Drunk driving doesn't matter. I do not support that. That is not something uh, that anybody could ask or even remotely should have done. It was just not right. I'm going to go with the Cincinnati's tight end there. That guy's pretty damn good. Oh, dang. Okay, sorry. I'm going to have to get rid of somebody. So, I can't take Kamar because it's not going to be feasible for me to do this. So, I'm going to have to pick another running back. I just don't know who would be a good running back right now. Maybe Gore. Let's see what Gore is doing. Derek Gore. Okay, I'm going to take uh, the Kansas City Chiefs running back there on that front. Just because that's how I have to. Okay. I might have to low. Yeah, I'm going to go low on this one. Because i got to have a flex player. And I'm going to take... Let's see. Tyree Kill's playing. Is he playing? Is he playing? Is he playing? Yes, he is. I'm going to take Tyreek. So I'm still left with $100 right here, right now, on my one fantasy pick. So, so far in my first set of fantasy picks, I have Josh Allen as my quarterback, Mixon as my running back, Gore as my running back, 
Jamal Chase as my wide receiver, Emmanuel Sanders as my wide receiver, Randall Cobb as my wide receiver, and uh, Cincinnati's tight end. And my flex player is Tyree Kill and Carolina Panthers as my pick team to have good defensive skills. I, I just had to go with somebody a little cheap, a little better. I fully understand that you guys probably would laugh at me right now for what I just picked. But now I'm going to do a second one. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to like there's. Let's see. Uh, is Dak playing today? Who knows? His status is still unknown. I'm going to go with Burrow. I'm going to go with Kamar. Running back, Aaron Jones. Let's see. Maybe Aaron Jones. Should I go with Aaron Jones, people? I don't know. I can't really tell you. How is Hubbard doing? Let's see what Hubbard's up to. Chubba Hubbard. I'm going to go with him. Let's... Jamal Chase, I'm always going to go with Jamal Chase. Don't matter what. Don't matter what. I love Jamal Chase. Uh, I have to... I don't even know what happened with Christian Kirk because he was doing really well and I didn't pick him up. I'm going to try him again. Because he is good. Well, they're going against the 49ers, and the 49ers don't even have uh, Kelsey in there. So, you know, that's all right for me. Uh, Mike Williams, let's see. Maybe Mike Williams. DJ Moore. Most likely DJ Moore. I'm going to take DJ Moore. So, oh, Kelsey is there. or Oh, no, that's Kelsey for the Chiefs. See, I won't take Kelsey because one reason. It's just I'm not trusting that motherfucker. But I will probably take somebody out of the blue. And I'm going to go back to Hunter Henry. As my tight end. And my flex player is going to be probably somebody who I don't even know. But I'm going to give a shout out and try. Who is Jordan Howard? Jordan Howard, let's see. Jordan Howard, there you go. You're joining the club, bro. That's the first time I've actually did fairly well and I actually closed the gap on that one. So that one's done. So I've done two so far. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four more. But as I go on here, the Raiders over the Giants, I will say yes, because there's no Saquon Barkley. I think he's out for the season now, so that's just going to happen. Cincinnati over the Browns, I will say, because there is no more Odell Beckham there. Uh, Broncos are not going to have any wins against Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. So I'm going to go over here to my other uh, line of whatever. I'm going to go with Mr. Lamar. Because they're facing Minnesota. I'm going to say Baltimore is going to take it. I'm going to go down here. Where's my running backs? Let's see. Darnell Williams. How did he do? Okay, I'll take that guy from the Chiefs. 
Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon. Let's see what Melvin's got. Five. Let's see. Melvin Gordon. I'm going to take him. Uh, you know, it's it's a really hard thing when you don't have certain aspects. So I'm going to tell you who I'm going to take with wide receivers soon. Just let me uh, pick up all these guys that I'm going to try to take a chance on. It's really, really hard to even consider myself a good one here. I uh, don't know about Tim Patrick. I think I caught, I took him, but he didn't do so well for me. Randall Cobb I like, but I've already played him. I don't know really who to go after or even to pick, but I am going to go with Randall Cobb because I know he's going to play. He's going to do well. The tight end is going to be a Jared Cook. Uh, Hunter Henry. Let's see. Evan Ingram. The Giants are... Eh. Might, Ingram might make a play. He might do pretty well. So, you know, I still have the flex player at the flex player situation here. So I might just take Dalvin Cook on Minnesota and just kind of go with it. But I'm going to go with Baltimore. There we go. I just kind of eased up on a lot of things here. It looks like I've done pretty well. Who knows? I'm just going to enter that one in. But you got the Texans versus the Dolphins. I say Miami because they're both one and one and seven teams. That doesn't mean like they're gonna do anything great or even historically great. The Chargers over the Eagles. I know they're playing in Philly, but Philly is having its problems. So I'm gonna go with the Chargers on that one. I'm because I'm gonna go with Herbert. Uh, Packers. Are not going to beat the Chiefs. No Aaron Rodgers. So he's pretty much singled out himself on that one. I I don't understand the whole Aaron Rodgers uh, situation anyways. If people want to know. I really don't know. I don't understand it. Because I could never tell you anything on them. It, it's kind of a hard one to even figure out what's going on there. I'm going to take Bell against Minnesota on uh, my, my running back. Like, you know, I got to kind of switch it up a little. If anybody is going to try to save the day for uh, Cincinnati or for Cleveland, it's Nick Chubb. Just because Nick Chubb is who he is. Boyd, let's see what Boyd did. In the last game. There we go. Tight end. Again, I'm going back down. I just couldn't tell you who. Tommy Sweeney. I 
I don't know who Tommy Sweeney is. But, uh, just trying to figure out some tight ends here. And really, it's, it's a difficult situation to be in when, you know, you look at some of these guys. Eh, I'm going to go with that guy. Flex player, I still have over 13,000 to play with. So, I'm going to play safely here. And I'm going to choose somebody, Mark Andrews. There we go. And I'm going to say Buffalo Bills. But I still have $1,000 to play with, so I can still go and play around a little more. Ah, uh, Brandon Cooks. There we go. And I, I did fairly well here, so you know I, I'm taking Bell on a on a whim. I'm only doing that. You got the Cardinals versus the 49ers. They're saying the 49ers since Kyler Murray and De and Hopkins are not probably in. I'm still going to say the Cardinals because somehow the Cardinals are going to be a very successful team at the end, and. Uh, yeah, it's just it's going to work out in their favor. Now, I'm going to choose possibly I'm going to go Derek Carr on my last set here. Uh Ezekiel Elliott cuz I do love this guy and I know he can do it. For my other running back, I'm going to go down a little more. I'm going to go with another Dallas player. Maybe not because it didn't look so good. But again, you know what? I'm going to put my trust and faith in Gore again. Got to give me some more Jamal Chase. I'm going to take my flex player right now. I'm going to take Tyreek Hill. There we go. So now I have that covered. So as I go through, I try to look and Boyd is one of them. Let me get down here. Cobb. Tight end. I'm going to have to go with uh, that buddy. And then, you know, as I see it, I'm going to go... Dallas. So I still have that. I still have it covered. So that means I have set. Yep. I can get my wide receiver that I wanted. Stefan Diggs. Look at that. There we go. I got my, I got my fantasy football picks in. As I say, it's there. It's done. FanDuel, here I come. So I have entered officially in one contest. I think I'm in five times. So I'm there. I'm done. I'm ready to rip roaring, ready to go on that front. It is done. It is solidified. So there's my picks for that. Tonight's NHL games are. Uh, couldn't really tell you. Well, I want to hand out my congratulations to Brady Kinchuk, the newly signed. Millionaire of the Senators as a cap, the tenth captain in Senators history. So, congrats to Brady. He deserves it. I love you, Brady. I hope Brady and the Sands beat the Knights tonight. Uh, Lightning versus the Maple Leafs. I hope I'm probably going to say the Lightning. The Panthers are on a roll right now. They're 
eight, zero, and one. They're against the Capitals. I don't know if Ovechkin and the Capitals could do much damage to them, but I hope Ov can score some goals. I'm gonna say Panthers, uh, Flyers versus the Penguins. I'm gonna say the Flyers, Bruins versus the Red Wings. I'll say the Bruins. Oh wait, that was last night, wasn't it? My bad. Does dummy? That's me. So, sorry about that. Tonight's games, I'm going to say. Well, we're back on that. Um, the Jets over the Blackhawks. The Oilers over the Rangers. The Ducks definitely over the Coyotes. Because the Coyotes are going to be the first team that's going to be 0-10. Uh, Predators versus Canucks. I'm going to say the Canucks. I think they're going to build off that victory they had against the Rangers. And they're going to do something tonight. They're going to, I believe they're going to win. The, the, the lines are all going to start picking up here. And the Kings versus the Devils, I would have to say the Kings would have to be the luckier winners on that front. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got on that one front. Uh, quick mental health update. I know I was going to talk about being friended, zoned, and all this shit. I'm just going to tell you right now i'm not going to talk about that until a later date because honestly i'm just dealing with my own emotions so um please be patient with me on this it is a very hard thing to do for me right now and uh i will probably talk to you guys tomorrow you all have a great day and it is the weekend coming up so have a great weekend talk to you all later